Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to review Woody Nerd's video where he scores 510 points in this year's FL replay season. I'm looking forward to it. He actually has commented in some of my videos and he's actually apparently used one of my ideas from the robot in three days, I believe for the rowing machine. This is a little bit of an older video. I think it's been released about two weeks ago, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing what he will release next. Anyway, let's watch the video. Sorry, I was a loud, bit loud. Hmm. I can say I would prefer if the camera angle was a little bit uh, smaller, but that's okay. Okay, so that was actually very nice and simple. That was just out, and then he made sure the backrest came out, and that was it. I would, I actually would consider seeing if you could do the health units and then just do the program later, but that's all good. It looks like the man has already come off of the slide, even though I didn't actually see the robot go and take the man off of the slide yet. So I actually like how he did this lifting the, of the basketball hoop. It's actually nice and straight, which is important because this basketball hoop is notoriously liable to catching on this back spine here. So he has to watch out for that. That being said, when I did it this way, I did still have this problem. So if you go to the match and you do it like Woody Nerd did, make sure you check that this spine is pushed up all the way against the column. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of grief. And it looks like he has a mechanism to dump it in. He does. Okay. That sounds pretty good. And he also has a mechanism to do the Bacha. Very nice. Is this actually how he catches that thing? Okay. Alright. So... Unfortunately, when you turn that mechanism, dumps the yellow cube into the target, it's very hard to actually make it reliably go into this target area. And then also you have to keep in mind that sometimes when you dump more cubes in, it, it pushes the yellow cube out of the target area, like it did actually. Yeah, I don't think there's much you can do about this. It's actually very hard to make it consistent. Very nice straight motion. And then, alright, he picks that up too. I think that's actually pretty well done. That was also nice and relatively simple. Though, so if I were to do this, I would just have some trap mechanism so I just drive out and drive back in. Oh, because that's a lot faster. What's he doing here? Driving along... Where's he going to? It's a little bit hard to see because the camera angle's a little bit too close. I think. Okay. It's actually not as easy as you might think it is to have that wheel do this because... This mechanism is actually pretty tight, and if you have a gear train from the wheel to your motor, it gets problematic because the gears often skip because of how much force they actually have to exert. Alright. Going for the tires, it seems. Let's see how it does it. Okay. I really had trouble doing it that way. I tried. I'm glad he found a way to make it work, though. Is he going for the weight ma rowing machine? Yep. Alright. Now, I do notice he hasn't really squared up or anything to re-reference the robot, so it may be very difficult to make this program consistent. But that's 
if he's able to make it work consistently, then that's fine. Yeah, he might want to try to see if he can make the robot look square up against some more walls or such. Alright. It's very annoying how slow you have to move this thing. <laughs> and even if you move it at this slowly, it sometimes still sticks. And it's not your fault, it's just a problem with the mechanism. Okay. The one thing I don't like about pneumatics in this case is it pushes, puts a lot of force down on the pull-up bar, and it's quite easy for this to accidentally get stuck. He's just showing us all. Did all the tasks? Oh, uh, oh, okay. I thought he was actually going for the health unit. Okay. Hey guys, Wordy Nerd here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I worked pretty hard on this. I had to take the robot off of the pull-up bar, but other than that, I hope you saw all the missions we completed, and I hope it inspired you. Another thing, when do you guys have your competition this year? I'm interested. Have you figured it out yet, or has Burst not released it? I just wanted to know. If you do know, please leave it in the comments below. Unfortunately, I'm actually an adult. <laughs> I'm twenty, almost 21, so I actually would not be able to go into competition anyway. But I have no idea where I live. Just answering his question. Generally, if you show that it was done, you don't have to really prove afterwards. If, if you want to, you can, but it's not necessary. coming soon, which will be about FLL replay. And after the season, I'll try to build a great Lego ball contraption, or a marble contraption, as shown in the fairs, and even do a face reveal. Thank you guys so much for 100 subs, but I couldn't even do that, and I couldn't even say it before I hit almost 150. So I'm so glad that you guys are supporting me, and I really hope you enjoy my videos, and I'll try to keep pushing out content for you guys. Thank you. Once again, thank you so much for 100 subscribers, and I can't express my joy. I know it's a small milestone, but that's a lot of people who supported me all the way there. And I'll make sure to do something special for you guys. Bye! Alright. Very nice. That was actually quite well done. I believe he did say that he used one of my ideas to actually help save some time. That's good. But yeah, other than the camera angles, I don't think there was actually anything really wrong with the video. I think it was actually quite well done. I also want to thank all of you for 100 subscribers. I also recently passed that myself, and I hope you all have been enjoying the content. I'm actually going to open my email up. I'll put the link down below and send me a message if you want me to look at your robot and actually go Skype or video call you of some kind and we can go and view your robot in live in person. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm actually going to probably explain some of my one week robots and I hope you all enjoy some of the mechanisms. Let me know which mechanisms you would actually like me to review down there. Make sure everyone to also make, leave a like on the video and subscribe to Woody Nerd's channel as well. He's going to be posting a number of new videos as well, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he releases himself. Thank you. Bye.